before you start, you're going to want to collect together all the materials you'll need. So you'll need a handkerchief, an embroidery hoop, a needle, some embroidery thread, an erasable pen, a pair of scissors, and your designs. First up, we're going to draw our design onto a handkerchief. So pick which corner of the handkerchief you'd like to use. I'm going to pick this one. And then if you're going to use these, take your sheet and pick whichever design you're going to use. So I'm going to use this little olive branch. Place it underneath the handkerchief and you should be able to see through quite easily because the handkerchief is quite thin. Take your erasable pen so the ink of this pen disappears in heat so either with an iron or with the hairdryer which makes it ideal for transferring your designs onto fabric. And I'm also going to add my initials mm, here. So I'm going to use a C and an R. And I'm going to put a little dot. I like the way it looks. The next stage is to use your embroidery hoop to hoop the fabric. You're going to need to loosen the outer hoop by turning the, um, the little notch anti-clockwise and then the inner hoop should slide out. You're going to place the inner hoop underneath the design and the outer hoop will loosen it slightly more over the top and then push, push push down firmly and you want the fabric to be taut you don't want it to be stretched just taut so it's a special knack keep going if you need to and then I'm gonna just fold this around and hold it in my hand to keep the excess fabric out of the way. I'm going to use pink thread for the lettering. So you need to unravel your pink thread without knocking everything off your desk. And if you look closely, you'll see that the thread is made up of six individual strands. For this piece I'm only going to use two strands so you're going to need to separate them out. To separate them out I'm going to do it one by one. So take just one strand and pull it. Keep the rest of the embroidery thread pinched between your fingers and pull gently and it should come out nicely. So you've got your one and then I'm going to pull the next two. So bring the two ends of your two pieces together and then just pull to make sure they're together. I'm only going to use a short amount of this so I'm going to take an arm's length and cut. Now to thread your needle. So the needle in the kit has got a lovely big eye so this shouldn't be too difficult. Pull through and knot one end of the fabric. Of the fabric? Of the thread. So. I'm going to place one knot, simple knot, and then do another one in exactly the same place. 
and then again just to make that knot and then once more <laughs> just to make that knot nice and big and to stop the needle pulling the thread all the way through the fabric snip off the excess and you should be left with a nice neat knot to start stitching you're going to bring your needle up from underneath your fabric pick somewhere along your design and pull the needle through until the knot stops you you're going to use back stitch for the whole of this design so go back in about half a centimeter away from where you came up and you've made your first stitch and then go along about the same distance from where your needle first came up and go back in to the hole that you made previously and then keep going for the dot I'm just going to do a very small stitch Now that you've finished the embroidery in your first colour, you're going to turn the hoop over and tie a knot. Take your needle and pass it under a nearby stitch. Hold it in place with your thumb, take your other hand and this piece of thread here, you're going to wrap around your needle once, twice, hold it all in place with your thumb and then pull tightly until you feel the knot. And then do exactly the same thing in exactly the same place, just to double knot. This will make sure that the embroidery is safe when you wash it. Then take your needle off, use your scissors and cut as close as you can to the knot. For the olive branch I'm going to use black. I'm going to do exactly the same as before and take just two strands of thread. So one, and then bring the two ends together so you've got a piece of thread that's two strands long do the same as before and thread your needle and not one end, the longer end A few dams, four if you're feeling it, just to make a nice big knot. Cut as close as you can. And again, using back stitch, you're going to come up at the beginning of your design and use a simple back stitch. As you start to near the end of a piece of thread, rather than playing thread chicken and waiting to see how short you can get it, you're going to end with that piece of thread and start with a new one. Fortunately, this one is going to be so close. Not sure if I'm going to be able to 
finish with this piece of thread or not. So let's just give it a couple more stitches and see. No, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to end with this piece of thread. So turn your hoop over and not in exactly the same way as you did before. Slip it under, loop twice, pull tight, and do the same again. And then cut off the excess. Access? Excess. I've only got a tiny bit left, so I've only got a very small, short piece of black thread. Two strands, little knot. Start exactly the same way and just continue until you're finished. You can change thread colour as often or as infrequently as you need. And you're finished. Turn it over, make one final knot. And cut off the leftovers. To remove the hoop, you're just gonna loosen it very slightly and pull the outer hoop off and take the inner hoop away. The final step is to iron it. Ironing gets rid of any leftover ink marks that you can still see and gets rid of the little mark left by the hoop. When you're done.